Hello Dark Souls fans and welcome back to Let's Die Horribly in Dark Souls 3! I remain your host Shadow Fury 333 and I do want to go over a couple small things I did in the meantime. I found out that apparently you cannot upgrade armor or at least if you can Titanite is not the material with which to use it or at least Andre is not the blacksmith at which you upgrade it but it looks like you just can't. I looked closely at the description of the Titanite stuff and it just says upgrade weapons or reinforce weapons not weapons and armor. So I think we're back to, I think it was the way Demon Souls did it, where armor does not get upgraded. Which is interesting. Also, that Karthus Milk Ring I grabbed, that I grabbed just sort of randomly while I was getting all panicky about the skeletons the first time I came through this area, turns out that's the ring that that other enemy was using. So now I have Invisible Rolling too. Not sure what good it does, but it does boost dexterity, which is good because that scales my weapons. So, improvements! I just gotta figure out where the thing that's controlling this little ball of skeletons is at. We did go down here before. Oh wait, what are you doing? Oh, I thought I'd be able to hit you with that thing. But no. Your rats in there for annoying. Although now I don't have to worry about that one skeleton guy. Where'd that one skeleton guy go? Where are you, skeleton guy? I'll have you. Ow. Wait. Reload the crossbow, will you? Come on, there we go. Yeah! Ow. That hurt, you know? That really hurt. There we- yeah, see? How do you like that, huh? Ooh, a large titanite shard. I like that. Oh, you're a rat. Why did I not think there was actually anything? I thought, oh, it must be just a background detail. Whatever, it's probably corp- No, it's an actual living rat. I might want to deal with that. What do we have here? Hidden path ahead? You, you tell the truth! More secrets! More secrets full of things that want to kill me. Are they going to succeed? Hopefully not, because I don't like dying. I mean, yeah, I realize that's the whole point of the series is dying horribly, but... DIE! Let's see if I can kill horribly instead. Ow. And those cookies are annoying. Get back here, you... Ow. Oh crap, those are really damaging. Those are worse than I thought. Ay, man, these skeletons are annoying. I think that was was that white eyed. That was white eyed. Ah, die you! All right, there we go. Now it's done. Stupid two lives thing. Hey, Grave Warden's ashes. Let's see what that says. Story time. There it is. Umbral Ash of the Grave Warden and the Catacombs of Carthus. With this, the Shrine Handmaid will prepare new items. The old man began as a squire, carrying his master's accoutrements. He ended his days as a Grave Warden, and carried them still. I wonder what that unlocks. Hopefully something useful. Hopefully I don't get the Shrine Handmaid going, Oh yeah, that stuff, eh, it's... Oh, you think that's good stuff, do you? Oh, you think that's actually worth something? Oh, how droll. Whoops, well, not quite that accent, but you know. She was pretty harsh the last time I brought some stuff to her. I was like, come on, lady. Do you want me to give you ash or not? Oh, crap. Ow! Alright, so that one was only one life. The one behind is probably only one life. What's my current... It's ashing up. Current health. Let's heal. And then let's slam! Ha ha! Ow! 
then finish you off with the bolt. Oh, wait, you're the guy with what controls the ball, aren't you? I get back here. Yeah! Now it can take care of that ball once it hits something and stops. There we go! And now we get stuff. It's a good thing I found that secret, and you're a crab. I have no time for crabs. Okay, cool. This place is full of weird stuff. It's like... Are there... The enemies don't respawn, so it's just weird. There's constantly new enemies. I guess I missed them. Alright. There's one thing I'm kind of curious about. Not that I can use it, but... Can I lightning spear my way through some of this stuff? I mean, I know I used it before, and it wasn't the most powerful thing in the world. Which is also one of the slower things, so maybe not. Alright. Ah, you're lucky that wall was there. You archer thing. You archer monster. Ooh, Karthus Rouge. More of that fire stuff. That was what they were... No, that wasn't fire. That was bleed. Hang on. No, I might as well try it. There's... I guess it's time. Okay, this is bleed. So I guess they were firing fire arrows. But now I have a bleeding claymore. Or a lacerating claymore. Whatever it's called. Alright. Alright. What else do I have? I can do this. I can do this. Ow! I... Well, I still can do this. Just need to make sure I don't, you know, hit that trap. Yeah. No, I can't do this. Ow. How many rats are there? Sheesh. Oh, wait. I'm in a different part of that area. No, I still stand by my original point. How many... Oh, no. They do exist. Bone wheel skeletons. I thought they were gone. But no, they exist. Actually, maybe they're not that annoying. The bone wheel skeletons weren't super annoying. It was the hedgehogs in Alayam Lois in the DLC of 2. Those were annoying. Hey, another ember. Nice. And I guess where I'm planning to go eventually. But yeah, those hedgehogs... Eesh. At least you could dodge the bone wheel skeletons. <sighs> what the... Did I just take every single enemy from the catacombs and the depths back? Because... Yeah, although admittedly... Titanite charts aren't the same thing anymore. Oh wait, wait, I remember you. I remember you very well. You're weak to fire. Alright. Oh, wait, did we to lightning too? I don't remember. I'm sure there will be more. I will find out when I find them. Even though right now my resources are kind of running low. Didn't I see an item? I did see an item. I'm not blind! I saw an item! Get the item! Maybe. Oh, no, skeletons are scary. Ah, okay, more of those. Well... With a shot. Are you weak to lightning? Not especially, no. But you are weak to fire. Yeah, th these were in the depths in Dark Souls 1. Although, admittedly, that was also where you found the Pyromancer. I don't know what the Pyromancer is in this game. Jeez, do I want to be that close? I'll just throw another firebomb. That actually dealt a significant amount of damage to me. That actually hurt me. I'm surprised. I'm hurt. I mean, obviously. But, you know, I'm emotionally hurt as well as physically. And slightly insulted. And what's this? Ooh, more Titanite shards. Alright, so that, I think, is the non-secret way up. That's the way I tried to jump. I kind of doubt there's actually a way to jump that. Although, I'll try it again, because I didn't get hurt. No, if there's a way to jump... Oh, I did get hurt. A little bit. If there, was a, if there was a way to jump that, I don't know what it is. And now I have bone wheel skeletons to contend with. 
And more of these silly slimes. Yeah, this is annoying. Oh good, they don't home. That was the annoying part about the ones in two or the hedgehogs in two. Because everything homed in two. Like everything but everything homed. It was tracking city. It's very annoying. At least in this game that's not the case. Come on. I should probably fire at my weapon a bit. I don't know if I'm going to go through this more than once, so I don't want to waste too many resources. And the slimes don't even drop titanites these two. That's fine. Everything else drops titanites. I'm not going to be too concerned. Oh. Another wheel skeleton on me. Yeah, these are... Okay, these aren't as scary as they used to be. No! No! I thought I avoided that! Crap! I was just looking up to see that that wouldn't happen. And it happened. Great. Okay, I am gonna set my weapon on fire right now. Where's the charcoal pine resin? You're gonna burn! Ah, well, if I hit you. There we go. Because I do not like you at all. Fireballs would be nice, but this will work too. Hey, How many more of these things are there? There are more. At least on that side. I don't believe that. I can't believe they hit me. Come at me, skeleton. Oh, that was good. That felt good. And you, slime. How about you? Another one? Okay. No, I'm not going to be able to do this with two hands. But one hand swipes. That'll do the trick. There you go. That's nice burning. Oh, they do drop, drop tight night shards. Awesome. Okay. And now you, I want to have come out. Wait. What? I hear something that's not this bone wheel skeleton. Oh, that's so nice. Just the timing of it. Because they're not holding at me. I can just swing at them. That is such a relief. I mean, it's definitely an enemy you have to prepare for. But if you are prepared for it, then you just basically clothesline it with your sword. And yes, there are. That I was not... Seeing things. That is more of these annoying things. I could probably avoid them entirely, actually. I mean, not this one. This one I'm kind of stuck dealing with. But its friend behind it, no. But yeah, that is so cool being able to just close line those close line those wheel skeletons. Mind you, when you found them in the first game, it was way late in the game. Like, you might be going to catacombs that early, but you probably weren't. Like, if you were, you knew what you were doing. You knew what you were getting into. But if you didn't, you didn't. But these lines, however, yeah, this is like the third area of a standard person's playthrough in Dark Souls 1. They're annoying because, like I said, mainly vulnerable to fire. And unless you're playing Pyromancer, you don't have fire readily available. Ah, not again! I'm dead, I think. Unless I can mash out. Oh, wow, I'm not dead. I can't believe I'm not dead. I can't believe I didn't think... Oh, of course there'd be a slime over the bloody item. Where's the blood ring? Sure, what's this blood ring? Ah. <sighs> Well, that's a lot of S's wasted. I wonder if there's a bonfire that I'm missing, or I'm just going to have to go through these sections again. Mind you, clotheslining wheel skeletons will probably never get old, so I'm okay with that. Maybe I should just ember up. Oh, wait, wait. Shit. I just remembered I did not take care of this slime. That was the one slime I left alive, because I didn't want to bother wasting my time with it. 
and my charcoal pine resins and charcoal pine bundles, which are actually relatively cheap. As are fire bombs, I probably shouldn't be so concerned about losing them. Because I can buy no I can buy more. So what is this Karthus Blood Ring? I'm curious. Boost rolling invincibility at a constant defense. Given that there's iframes through the roof on rolling as it is, I don't know if this is super useful, but okay. Ring worn by warriors of the Sand Kingdom, Karthus. Boosts rolling invincibility at the cost of defense. The sword technique of Karthus allows for fluid movement with a curved sword. Masters of the technique are said to dazzle their opponents by moving as weightlessly as a grain of sand. They live for their High Lord Wolnir, conqueror of most kingdoms known to their people. Oh, wow, that kills defense. Yeah, I'm not going to bother with that. Like, as it is, my absorption isn't super high because I'm not wearing the most absorption-y armor, but wow. Like, my guess is what it does is it's just you have iframes throughout the entire roll, but no, I'm not going to... I'm not good enough for that. Also, yeah, if you notice, I actually took off the Pontiff's left eye because it doesn't do much. Although, admittedly, against the enemies, those blobs, it might have actually helped. Eh, I don't use Miracles that much. Maybe I'll put it back on. Like, what I want is Ring of the Evil Eye alongside that, although the card this Milk, milk Ring is nice just for the dexterity. I mean, okay, yeah, the Rolling, or the rolling Invisibility is kind of cool, but nah. As far as I know, if I was fighting against another human being, they'd be able to track me while I'm invisible. So it doesn't really help. Not in any practical sense. But hey, plus three dexterity. That's awesome. That's like 30,000 souls worth of levels at this point. And that only increases, too. That number goes up. As the cost of levels goes up. How do I get up? No, that's nothing. What the heck were you fighting? Ah, uh, who knows. Probably a rat. But now I don't know where to go. Oh, here's a new area. Alright, now I know where to go. I think. What's gonna try to kill me here? Slimes? I don't see any slimes. More skeletons? Wait, this is a... Wait, this is the bonfire. This is where I came from. Yeah. Never mind. That was silly. Alright, so I came from there. Behind where I came from was where I just was. And then on the other side was that secret and presumably something else. Something new. That's the secret. Oh wait, this is the secret. This is not the secret. This is just an area. But not a secret area. Huh, okay. What's going on here? I mean, other than there being a trap right there... A trap which I can use to my purposes. That's always a nice thing about traps in this whole series of games. They're very versatile. They're multi-purpose. They hit my enemies too! Well, okay, that's... What are these things doing here? And how do I get to you? I want to kill you! Besides using a trap, I mean. Is there anything that's just showing, like, slits? Oh, I see. There's a big slat. Okay, that makes sense. Huh. And there's only one of them now. Oh, there's two of them. Hmm. I almost want to go into the bonfire and regain my health, kind of. Get over here. Thank you. Oh, I missed. What? Oh, didn't miss. Not yet. It will. Or it won't. Wow, I can't believe that missed me. Ah, come on. Seriously? There we go. You want to come out here? Ah, crap. There we go. That's what I wanted. 
Oh. Kill smarter, not harder. Oh, of course you would. Actually, now I'm really glad I did that the way I did it, because, well, that got rid of life. Oh, never mind. I have to deal with it for real now. Is it going to come up the staircase? Is it going to come up the staircase? I don't know. I think it fell. Yes, it did. All right. Get over here. What? Yeah, that's that's what you try to do, silly car, the zombie thing. Ah, I love my claymore. That's a wonderful weapon. Claymore is a wonderful weapon. Claymore is a wonderful thing. Blade is made out of fine steel, and it's as it's entirely fit for a king. Oh, hey, Titanid Lizard. Okay, whoa. Oh, wow, you're tougher than the average one of these Karthus zombie things. You're ever not more accurate. Ow! Whoa! Sheesh! One combo? Seriously? Great. You should have gone back. I mean, it wouldn't have mattered if I'd gone back to the bonfire or not. I needed to have embered up, but seriously? Start this all over again. Oh wait, that was a mistake. Ow! Crap. Oh, that's the big rat I saw before. Okay. Do I really want to break this? I don't even want to go that way, back to the other rat. I want to go down the way I died. Which means dealing with this guy. Ah, you stop at the cookeries. You stop hitting... Darn it. I'm getting really impatient. Like, I don't know how to... Get... That second area is bugging me, so it's getting in my head. I hate that. I don't know how to get to it. That and the fact that I got through all that without dying and then made one mistake and died. Because I clearly need more health, but, like, I don't have... Well, I don't have the souls anymore. I had... I actually didn't even have the souls. I had, like, half the souls, and I don't even want to get that. I want to get strength. Sheesh, I'm getting nowhere. It's not in terms of leveling. Die. Hmm. I know I can kill that kukri wielding guy with my claymore more easily than with my Irithel short sword. I just need to hit. Ah, get out of here. And you too. That goes for all of you. Your existence is a waste of my time. Ah, there we go. Finally. Sheesh. Yeah, no, I can farm souls. That's why I'm not super concerned about losing these souls. It's just annoying. Do that off camera, obviously. Not gonna do that too much on camera. Maybe I should ember up. I don't know. I know it doesn't replenish my Estus, but it does get my health higher, and given that this enemy can kill me in one go. Like, just one good combo will kill me. Although the big question is, can I backstab you? And the answer is... Yes! Yes, I can! Can I backstab you off the cliff? 
Yes, I can! That's what I wanted to do in the first place. I love doing that. I mean, that was one of the things that happened in the first episode was, you know, kicking someone off a cliff. Simple joys. Suspended bridge is wearing thin. Okay, I'm guessing that's the dev symbol, because I'm guessing this is a dev message. Bridge is wearing thin. I guess that's going to be a one-way thing, I'm guessing. Okay. Boatload of skeletons. Anything big or just the ones I can see? Okay, there's one. Two. Where are the rest? Come on, I know you're here. I know you're here. Go ahead and reassemble. Or don't. I don't really care. But I can see you. Oh, this area. Okay, well, I found the area I was going to. All right, we made progress. Real progress. Where else are we going? This bridge is apparently wearing thin. I don't like the sound of that. You gonna reassemble? Are this gonna reassemble right as I hit the bridge? Is that how this goes? Well, I don't trust that bridge. Hmm. Oh, maybe that's the way you get around, other than the bridge. So I think we can safely assume the bridge is death. And that the other options are not death. Ah, uh, there we go. Oh, wow. Maybe the idea is you just run across the bridge and then they follow you and die. Because, I mean, instead it's wearing thin, so maybe? Nope, that's not how it works. Oh, maybe it is. Yes, it is! Ha-ha! It works! I was right! Although, I guess that trick only works once. It's down there. Oh, I see! Oh, that's a ladder now, is it? Alright, well, let's see what else we can find before we have to deal with that. Oh. This looks like a boss fight. I'm not going to bother with that right now. That'll be next episode. For now, let's just dis let us descend down the bridge. I hope that's a one-time thing, because otherwise it's like... There's no way back without provoking all the skeletons. What the heck is down there? Okay, there's clo loads of stuff down there. Get to it, I guess, after the boss fight, I'm guessing? Oh, another one of these. Oh, boy. Alright, well, I'm going to end off the episode here, so thanks for watching, and I will see you in the next one.